Hello everybody, it's Mike, and um, it is Sunday Fun Day. Welcome back to the channel. So, I have an interesting project to share with you all. This is like totally spur of the moment. So yesterday morning, after the gym, Christy's like, hey, let's go hit the neighborhood garage sales, because there's like massive, you know, whole neighborhood uh, type event that was put together by the Facebook group for the neighborhood organizations. And so I was like, man, I really don't want to go to any garage sales. I got so much stuff I want to do today. She's like, no, let's go. And I was like, all right. So we jump in the golf cart and um, start heading out. And our second stop, I come across this table here. And I'm like, that is really cool. It's sort of distressed looking. The glass even has a chip in it. I have the glass outside in the garage. Um, and I was talking to the previous owner who was selling it and he's like, oh, I used to have my baseball card collection displayed in there. So it has like a velour bottom, a black velour bottom. Um, and I was like, I think I could fit a train in there. Cause you know me, I am always thinking about some sort of trains. Um, Always have trains on the brain. Trains, working out, cars, mountain biking, all kinds of hobbies. But anyway, we'll talk about this hobby. So, uh, originally I was thinking we'll go uh, Z scale. Well, when I started researching Z scale after I bought the table yesterday, I could not find a radius track that would fit in here. And I already had a ton of Kato. Um, and I knew that uh, the CV1 set had a really close, tight radius curve. That's the tightest curve that they make. It's like about 12 inches wide. So um, I went ahead and put that in here and I was like, okay, I guess we're doing in again, um, which actually works out really well. because I don't have a conventional in layout and I have some conventional engines that haven't been converted. So I also thought Christian would get super excited about this because he just loves little compact layouts where you can see everything. And he's with his mom this week to go on vacation to Punta Cana um, uh, where we just got back from. So um, I'll have this surprise ready and waiting for him when he gets back. Anyway, little story real quick on this guy here. As an adult, this is the first in-scale train that I purchased um, back in the 90s. Uh, my very first in-scale train, my mom bought for me when I was like, uh, I don't know, 12 or 13. And it was a little 440 like Jupiter set by Bachman. And uh, I left it at her house and her dog chewed it up and ate it. Mm, man, rough. So I may end up getting that set again just for memory to run on this layout too. So let's talk a little bit about the table and what I've done so far. So, so far I have cut out this old backdrop, the very bottom strip, that's about four inches. And um, you can see the dots on it because at one time this was in my garage and whatever I used to adhere it bled through because it gets like 100 degrees in the garage like it is today, which is why I'm working here in the kitchen, you notice. <laughs> um, so I put that on back there to give it a little scenery. Um, I've installed three switches, all sidings, because it's a really short line. Um, so I can have three trains parked at once. Well, two parked and one running. So I have that set up to run the opposite direction as this train's currently running. Then I have these two switches here. Um, and this uh, UPSP, as you can see, is pulling four weathered cars, which I love. It's a little set. Um, fits on this other line and then I'm deciding what I want to put on this the park and what type of scene I want um, 
So I was debating on cutting out these pieces of wood on each side and expanding the layout. But I think, I mean, I can fit four cars and the engine going across the straightaway. And those are long cars. And they still look pretty good around that type loop. There's not a lot of hangover. Um, so I think I'm not going to cut that out. I think I'm going to leave that. Now, one snag is this door does not close. So this is actually a door that, you know, you can totally conceal that. So I'm either going to remove it or I'm thinking I will move this hinge over, move this hinge over remove this hinge, and then put like a deep 45 cut along here so that I could get the door to close again. Um, the other idea is, is this could find a, a like a Kato transformer will almost fit on here. Right now I'm running it with a Tech 2 MRC. Um, and then I have the three switch controllers I need. So I'm still up in the air. You can see all my wires dangling that have been run through. Um, Still up in the air about the whole positioning of the power for this, which is why I sort of was interested in Z-Scale because you can run it all off battery and you don't have to have all the wires and stuff. Um, I'll do a Z-Scale layout one day, I guess. So, um, that's pretty much everything I have going on. I mean, you can see I have uh, some more buildings here. Deciding, do I want it to just have um, scenery in it with maybe one piece of industry uh you can see i've got my blue foam already cut ready to start working on building up the inside of it so it has some dimension um and then from there uh i'll be able to decide what to do otherwise and then i'll have to ballast the track to make it look more realistic um but hopefully this project moves along fast. So next time Christian comes over, uh, well, comes back home, I should say, um, he's got this layout to check out and play with. So run some trains. So that's my update for Sunday, fun day, July 24th. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Uh, getting ready to go to Monroe County Fair and set up the Lionel Club layout for the fair for this week. So may have an update about that later. See ya.